good day welcome to another episode of rob report um how you doing today i rarely get an opportunity to showcase some good news and i think i'm gonna add on the show a good news segment because people need to know about good news now i recently talked about um dr zelenko and his medical treatment to deal with the COVID that that is knocking it out pills that are knocking it out um 10 to 15 days i mean five to ten days Thing is, it's hard to get the Zelenko. Everybody wants to get the Zelenko. And then we heard about the um, Ramdesivar uh, treatment that they're doing in Chicago that's working pretty well. But that's the intravenous. You have to shoot that in your arms or they have to actually put that through your veins in order to get it. Uh, I'll rather lean to some pills <laughs> than uh, intravenous use. But I'm not going to talk about the, that today. I am going to talk about coronavirus and what's going on here in New York City. Mayor de Blasio. Uh, yeah, that gentleman right there who ran for president and caved in, <laughs> caved in and in his campaign in less than a month, uh, is actually doing some good things here in New York, um, in New York City. Give me a moment. And uh, go over the story. And uh, we'll talk about that a little bit. I think it's a great thing that de Blasio is doing. Okay, give me a moment. All right. All right, this is in Staten Island. Mayor de Blasio said during a Saturday press conference that many homeless single adults will be moved from New York City shelters to hotels in order to maintain safety guidelines during the coronavirus, COVID-19. Now, I think that is a great idea because usually when you're in a shelter, you have a bunch of beds stacked, and especially when you got families in shelters, and oftentimes you're going to be bumping into each other, running to each other. Matter of fact, before this crisis start, I was actually um, preparing myself to take a job with um, BRC, which is a organization that look for homeless people and bring them off the streets, put them into a, a living environment and help them get their own place. And um, I was um, preparing to, uh, to look into that as one of my 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 things that I want to do. And I know you probably, I, I think I, get, I told you guys about it. But anyway, he's saying, look, I'm going to move um, single adults. Single adults will be moved from New York City shelter to hotels in order to maintain safety guidelines. Now, I'm not saying he's doing five star, but at least he's moving it to them to an area where they're in their own space where they don't have to connect uh, to people like talking about. He said 20 homeless New Yorkers have died of the virus and at least 300 has tested positive. Um, now, um, now the numbers are probably up uh, because this article is a little bit old, but this is an article you probably didn't even know about. And he said, um, so I don't know what the numbers are. He said, um, approximately one third of the city current homeless shelter populated, he added. Our shelter system is an area where we are focused on ensuring that those who do not have a home are protected and given the support they need during this crisis, he said. He didn't say which hotels would be used to house the homeless. Now, I doubt it. I doubt if I doubt if he's using a Waldorf Astoria or uh, the Western or something like that. I doubt that. Uh, the mayor also mentioned he's hoping to persuade more New Yorkers on the streets to accept shelter. Uh, we have to protect everyone from COVID-19, said de Blasio. Folks who have serious physical issues and have mental health issues need a lot of support. De Blasio said the hotel will be used to prioritize seniors, those showing symptoms of COVID-19, and those who cannot achieve proper social distancing in high-populated shelters. But are the schools open or closed? While Mayor Bill de Blasio said Saturday during the same press conference that he would keep all New York City public school closed for the rest of the school year due to the virus. Governor Andrew Cuomo said he has jurisdiction over such a move and has not reached that decision yet. This is the problem I have with Cuomo. Uh, and, and, and de Blasio always bumping heads. Cuomo don't have to try to always dominate de Blasio. De Blasio sometimes do make great decisions for the city of New York that are better than Cuomo. Cuomo is up there in Albany not right now. He, he's forgotten what it's like to live in New York. Uh, two hours after de Blasio announced city schools would be closed, Cuomo said that his daily press conference, um, that's not the case. Initially, New York City public schools were over to reopen by April 20th, and then the pause was extended. However, de Blasio has repeatedly said schools may be closed for the remainder of the year, and they already made that decision to make sure they're closed for the remainder of the year. So the kids are out for the rest of the year. De Blasio announced on March 15th 
uh, in the largest school system in the United States with approximately 1.1 million public school students will be closed. Um, so anyway, so the whole point of this article is um, uh, Mayor de Blasio, unlike Obuji Cuomo, corporate Cuomo, I still got my issues with, actually I got my issues with both of them. You know Mayor de Blasio worked for Cuomo uh, with the housing and urban um, development with HUD when Cuomo was the head of HUD. He had the position, he had the position that, of all people, Ben uh, Carson has. Ben Carson is a surgeon and Donald Trump and him decide to agree to be run housing. That brother should have been Surgeon General, not this other brother. Ben Carson should have been Surgeon General. He has no, he don't know nothing about housing. But yet, he, he has an excuse for not doing more for housing because he don't know nothing about housing. Here you got De Baggio and Cuomo all bowing down to corporate housing, allowing a certain amount of people to live in it. When they should be pouring more money into public housing, that's where that's where they got their fame from, public housing. We don't do enough public housing anymore. And it's time that we start doing more public housing. There need to be a revitalization of public housing. But the whole point of this uh, is de Blasio, he is doing whatever he can to, um, um, at least he's thinking about it. I don't know how far he went into it yet, but at least he's doing whatever he can to take people out of a crowded shelter and put them into a hotel room. Again, not going to be the Western. It's not going to be Waldorf or Astoria. It's not going to be Trump International. It's not going to be none of these bougie hotels, but it is their separate place. And I think that's a good thing. Anyway, I'm Robert Brown with a good Rob report, the real Rob report. I'll let you later. And see you later. Peace.